Have you ever noticed the thin nearly invisible wire encircling Manhattan? Yes, there's a single tiny wire that girds the bustling city, stretching from river to river and street to street. It's easy to overlook, especially when you're navigating the vibrant chaotic tapestry that is New York. The wire is elevated and unassuming, blending seamlessly with the city's skyline. This subtle wire is not a part of the city's electrical grid, nor is it a remnant from some forgotten construction project. It's not a bird perch, and it's not for decoration. Despite its inconspicuousness, this wire plays a significant role for a certain group of Manhattan residents. The wire has a story to tell, a story that weaves together tradition, religion, community, and the concrete jungle of New York. It's a story that's as intriguing as it is unexpected. Now you might wonder, why is it there and what's its purpose? Stay tuned as we unravel the curious case of this wire. This single tiny wire has a name, it's called an ERRUV. To understand the ERUV, we need to journey back in time to the days of ancient Jewish tradition. The concept of the ERUV in Hebrew meaning mixture or blending originates from the Talmud, a central text of Jewish law and thought. It was conceived as a legal solution to restrictions imposed by the Sabbath, the Jewish day of rest. On the Sabbath, from sunset on Friday to sunset on Saturday, certain activities are prohibited in public spaces by Jewish law. These activities include things that might seem quite ordinary to us, such as carrying keys, pushing strollers, or even moving a book from one place to another. These prohibitions are rooted in the broader Jewish law against transferring objects between private and public domains on the Sabbath. So, how could communities ensure that their Sabbath observances didn't interfere with their everyday lives? Enter the ERUV. By encircling a community with a continuous physical boundary, an ERUV symbolically extends the private domain of Jewish households into the public spaces. This allows individuals within the ERUV to carry out tasks that would otherwise be prohibited on the Sabbath. The physical boundary of the ERUV can take many forms. In some cases, it might be a wall, a fence, or a natural feature like a river. However, in urban environments like Manhattan, where such boundaries are not always possible, a single, inconspicuous wire often serves this purpose. Hung high above the streets, this wire blends into the cityscape, largely unnoticed by those not in the know. The ERUV, then, is more than just a wire. It is a testament to the ingenuity of a community, adapting their ancient traditions to the demands of modern urban life. It is a symbol of unity, connecting disparate neighborhoods into a single Jewish community for the day of Sabbath. So, this wire in essence extends the private domain into public spaces, transforming Manhattan into a Sabbath-friendly zone. Now let's delve into the history of the Manhattan ERUV. The Manhattan ERUV, an unassuming thin wire that encircles most of Manhattan, is a true marvel of community effort and religious observance. Established in the early 80s, the Manhattan ERUV was the result of a painstaking collaboration between city officials, utility companies, and the Jewish community. Imagine trying to secure permissions, navigate regulations, and coordinate the installation of a single, continuous wire around one of the busiest cities in the world. It's a task that would have seemed insurmountable to most, yet, in the face of these challenges, the community's dedication to their faith and traditions prevailed. The creation of the ERUV was only the beginning, its maintenance is an ongoing, laborious task. Every week without fail, members of the community carry out inspections to ensure the Aruv's integrity. This is no small undertaking. The Manhattan ERUV stretches for almost 20 miles and is subject to the wear and tear of the city's bustling environment. Weather, particularly strong winds and heavy snowfall, often poses the most significant threat to the Aruv's continuity. Inspectors have to make sure that no part of the wire has been damaged or disconnected, as even a tiny break would invalidate the ERUV for the entire community. But it's not just about physical maintenance. The Manhattan ERUV also requires constant legal upkeep. Ensuring the ERUV's continued existence involves regular negotiations with the city and utility companies. This dedication to maintaining the Manhattan ERUV is not just about preserving a physical symbol. It's about upholding a tradition that allows observant Jews to live their lives more fully within the confines of their religious laws. It's about creating a sense of community, a shared space that extends beyond the walls of individual homes and synagogues. Despite its simplicity, maintaining the integrity of this wire is a task that requires diligence and dedication. For the communities it serves, the Manhattan ERUV is more than just a wire. It's a testament to their faith, their unity, and their resilience in the heart of a bustling metropolis.
This wire, while physically unobtrusive, holds a significant place in the community. Now, imagine a line so thin, yet so powerful, that it encompasses millions of stories, hopes, and dreams. A line that is more than just a physical entity, but a symbol of unity and togetherness. That's the ERUV for you. You see, the ERUV is not just a wire. It's a marker, an invisible boundary that turns public spaces into private domains during the Sabbath. For Orthodox Jews in Manhattan, this wire is a lifeline, a crucial part of their religious observance. It allows them to carry out activities that would otherwise be prohibited on the Sabbath, like pushing a stroller or carrying keys. The ERUV, in essence, is an ingenious solution to a complex problem, a testament to the adaptability and resilience of a community in the face of modern challenges. It's a silent proclamation, a statement of their presence, their faith and their tenacity. But the ERUV is more than just a religious tool. It's a cultural emblem that encapsulates the essence of the Jewish community in Manhattan. Diverse, vibrant, and deeply rooted in tradition. For those in the know, the ERUV is a constant, a reassuring presence that reminds them of their shared identity and values. It's easy to overlook this wire, to dismiss it as just another part of the urban landscape. But for the people who depend on it, it's a symbol of their faith, a beacon of their identity in the sea of skyscrapers. The ERUV then serves as a bridge between tradition and modernity, between the sacred and the secular. It's a testament to the power of community and the enduring resilience of faith in an ever-changing world. It's a silent sentinel standing guard over the Sabbath, ensuring that the rhythm of life continues undisturbed in the heart of the bustling city. So the next time you find yourself in Manhattan, look up. You might not see it, but it's there. A wire that's more than just a wire. A line that's more than just a line. Imagine that. A single, tiny wire binding a community together in the bustling city of Manhattan. Interestingly, this wire also tells a story about the city itself. A tale that speaks volumes about Manhattan's embrace of diversity and multiculturalism. Not just a physical boundary, the ERUV is a symbol. A symbol of the city's commitment to inclusivity and respect for all cultures and religions, and a testament to the spirit of cooperation between its inhabitants. But what does this wire have to do with the city's attitude towards diversity? Well, it's quite simple. The ERUV wouldn't exist without the understanding and cooperation between the city administration and the Jewish community. It's a silent agreement, a pact that has been respected for years, allowing the Jewish community to practice their religion freely within the city's boundaries. This cooperation is not a one-time deal. It requires constant maintenance, a continuous dialogue between the two parties. The city's administration needs to be aware of any potential disruptions to the ERUV, whether it's a new construction project or a fallen tree branch. The Jewish community, on the other hand, has the responsibility to repair any broken sections of the wire promptly to ensure its continuity. But the story doesn't end here. The ERUV also mirrors the city's constant change and evolution. Just as Manhattan's skyline continually transforms with new buildings and structures, the ERUV too adapts, shifting its path to accommodate these changes. In this way, it's a living testament to the city's dynamic nature. In essence, the ERUV is more than just a wire. It's a reflection of Manhattan's spirit, its respect for diversity, and its commitment to fostering a sense of community among its residents. It's a symbol of the city's dedication to ensuring that everyone, regardless of their faith or cultural background, feels at home. In a city as diverse as Manhattan, this wire stands as a testament to the spirit of mutual respect and coexistence. So, there you have it. The mystery of the single, tiny wire encircling Manhattan unraveled. We've journeyed from the curious origins of the ERUV, a concept deeply rooted in Jewish tradition, and traced its invisible path around the bustling cityscape of Manhattan. This wire, almost imperceptible to the untrained eye, serves as a remarkable symbol of the fusion between age-old customs and modern urban life. We've explored how this thin strand, running across lampposts and buildings, creates an extended private domain, allowing the Orthodox Jewish community to perform tasks on Sabbath that would otherwise be prohibited. And so, this single, tiny wire, while seemingly insignificant, plays a crucial role in preserving tradition, fostering community spirit, and maintaining harmony within the diverse fabric of Manhattan. Next time you're in Manhattan, look up. You might just spot the wire that holds a tale of tradition, community, and harmony.